Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Ella Isiwe. As you can see, today's video, I'm not really dolled up. It's just a thought I had in my head, and I'm like, you know what? Let me address this shit. I've been seeing it, I've, I've been seeing tweets, I've been seeing TikToks, I've been seeing it all over. I've been hearing it within my circle, so I'm just like, you know what? Let me just talk about this. Let me give you my own two cents about what I think about these friends that I should stay away from. Because with these kind of friends, with these kinds of friends I'm going to be mentioning, I don't know. I don't I don't I don't know if you if you go ahead and look for enemies because you already have them, men. So let me just dive right in. I'm sorry I'm cooking. Yeah, I'm making food for my meal. Indian egg. Anyway, <laughs> okay. Stay away from these kinds of people. And if you are this kind of friend also, and you are watching this video, please change your ways, change yourself. Because the thing about um this kind of video I want to do now is not I'm not I'm not saying people should cut off their friends like because I I'm of the opinion that everybody needs people and you need like you need like a community to grow. So. God, can every time I want to do video, there's always, always this train moving. Ah, this oil is getting hot. Mm. You don't have to cut them off, but you can address the situation. Like you can tell them that this thing you are doing, that let's let's unpack this. Let's visit this. What's going on here? Yeah. Can you guys let me leave? Ah. Anyway, yeah. So, for God's sake. So, the number one kind of friend that you shouldn't have around you, and if you have this person around you, and, and if you are like this person, you should watch yourself, is people that use your, what do I call it? People that use your situation as a gist. Let me explain. People like, um, let's say I'm having issues with my boyfriend, I'm having issues with my... My, my work for example you, you see like oh i'm going through this thing let me tell my friend about it maybe she, i can draw insights from her or maybe um they can help me figure it out let's let me give you the example now I, I don't know why i'm spiraling let's say i'm having issues like a relationship issue and maybe he's cheating on me that will never happen that can never be me but let's just use that as an example um so hey this is nothing never hey that's true anyway let's say yeah the person is my, my boyfriend is cheating on me or my husband is cheating on me so i now go and tell my friend that this is the issue i'm going through or what can you help uh what do you think i should do da, 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 da. then this my friend gives me her own advice or gives her own input or like what's the word like she's angry as as well like two of us were just venting together then maybe three days sometimes it's not even long 30 minutes after you're seeing whatsapp statuses whatsapp statuses what's wrong with me today i had a very hectic day at work so you guys just please excuse me whatsapp status is like oh a cheating man is an unfaithful man or i could never be girls that accept cheating men or you see tweets like that like you just see some people are sobbing you but it's your relationship issue that they are using as gist you see those kind of people those people that use your relationship issue as gist you need to cut them off Okay, don't really cut them off. Okay. Some people even go as far as um, using your issue to advise somebody else. Like, don't do that. Don't use my relationship issue, what I told you in confidence, to advise. I don't care if you keep it anonymous. Don't use my relationship issue or whatever I told you in confidence to advise somebody else. That's just, that's just wild. So those kinds of people, address it with them. Like, guys, if you are that kind of person or if you have friends like that, address it. Because later in life, later, like, um, in the future, it will cause huge problems for you. I'm not even kidding. If you don't even mind it now, soon enough, you you start to mind it. Now, the second kind of people, second one, this type of friends now, are people that are, are very happy to post other friends but never you yeah so their friends are maybe they fit into their aesthetic or maybe they have clout on social media or whatever i don't know what it is but there are some kind of friends they're like especially groups of friends that probably go out to an event you'd see that they are happy posting only like a few out of that group and probably leaving you out just you out or just a certain like 
like a couple of them a couple of you understand what i'm saying i told you i'm spacing out i'm so sorry i'm not communicating very effectively but you understand what i'm saying so those kinds of friends me what i would say personally don't post them as well like if you feel like you you're always posting them and never post you don't post them in fact stop it like reciprocity is a big deal for me i will always 100 percent be on the side of reciprocity the way you treat me is the way i'm going to treat you in fact the only reason we are friends in the first place is because we have a common ground and that common ground is because maybe you 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 feel the same way about this, some of the things that i that we have in common like you you feel do you get what i'm saying here yeah. huh? Huh? so those kind of friends be very wary of them those are not they are not genuine people but obviously you can use them for other things like friends to be very honest i don't know like i said you need a community to build to grow so if you need if you feel like those people are um important it's just that character that, that traits that they have that you don't like yeah you can you can keep them together i mean not <laughs> okay yeah this other one are friends they are friends that belittle everything that you do everything that is huge for you is a joke to them it's like ella just starting out oh had a little career had a little little business had a little boyfriend everything that is an achievement for you is a minuscule thing for them doesn't make sense for them it's just something that friends are supposed to make you feel good about yourself they're supposed to elevate you they're supposed to make you um happier my own friend if I'm going through stuff, no, 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 that kind of thing I want. So anybody that I have around me that is always trying to be little bit. No. I really hate. No, I don't hate them. <laughs> yes. But those are not the kind of people that you want around you. And those are people that you need to be wary of. And probably cut off. Because if they don't make you feel good about yourself, what's the point? What is the point? So this is going to be a very short video. I hope it's a short video when I edit this because I've been talking, talking, talking since morning. The point of this whole thing is that you need to be careful with the people that you let into your circle. You need to be careful not to just gullibly accept everybody. No, you have to be. You have to know what place this person stands in your life because not everybody um should have should occupy that space in your heart. Like largely, the Bible says to guide your heart jealously. Because I know how you girls can get. You love people too much. You're so genuine. Blah, 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 blah. But be kind of like a little bit wiser because you don't want to suffer heartbreak when somebody now does something that, oh my god, I didn't see it coming. Oh, oh. no. <laughs> I'm not trying to say that you should outsmart people like, oh, hmm, calculating everything. You did this to me. I'm going to cut you off. No. I'm just saying you should try to be like a little bit more sensible, not that gullible. And, um, yeah know what kind of people you should accept in your life know where this what space they hold in your life and yeah i wish you guys all the best and don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video this is just a rant i'm sorry bye